Here's a quick look at the podcasts app that's coming to watchOS 5. Now I'm running the developer beta 2. It wasn't really usable in dev beta 1, which is why I haven't done a review yet. Now the first screen you get in the podcasts app is your latest podcasts. So currently I've only got one in there, but you would have a number of tiles which you can swipe through with your finger or with the crown. Uh, the only thing that I have a problem with with this interface is that if you have multiple unplayed episodes from a single podcast, it's only going to show the latest one here. So what you do in that case is you scroll to the very top, tap on library, and there are two things you can do here. You can either find the show in the list of all the shows you're subscribed to, and then it will show you the latest episodes in chronological order. Or you can go to the top, click on episodes, and it's got all episodes from all shows you subscribe to in chronological order. And the nice thing here and in uh, the previous list is that it has played indicators on all the shows and it also has how far you are. Let's have a look at this one. So I've got 10 minutes left on that. And you can see if I also went to the show, it shows I've got 10 minutes left on that episode as well. That's really all there is to the podcast app. Um, maybe the only other thing you might want to see is that when you tap on an episode to play it, it's going to look for an AirPlay device and it's automatically going to try and connect to the AirPods. You might have to connect manually if it's a different sort of Bluetooth device. The now playing screen now has a volume level which in previous uh, versions of watchOS you always had to switch to the native now playing screen so that's nice. Uh, you've got forward and back 15 and 30 seconds. You've got your up next queue and you've also got the speed. There's no chapters in this app unlike on iOS 12 and you can go back by tapping there. You can also check out the podcast library that is on your phone. Uh, if your AirPods were connected to your phone, um, you might want to control it that way. If you weren't next to your phone but you had your watch on, you've got that option. Now the podcasts app caches the most recent episodes, so you don't have a, need to have a data connection for the latest episodes. I haven't found an exact way of seeing specifically on the watch which ones are cached and which ones aren't. Um, and of course, if you have an LTE watch, it will stream over LTE, which is quite nice. And that's podcasts on watchOS 5.